in the mysterious, long-lost biblical book of Enoch. In those mythical prehistoric times before the Great Flood, the book of Enoch tells of a war in heaven in which God and his loyal host of angels, led by the archangel Michael, were arrayed against a horde of rebellious angels who had lusted after the daughters of men and had descended to earth where they were breeding a race of giants and were teaching humans the forbidden secrets of sorcery and magic. The Book of Enoch goes on to relate that the four great archangels, Mikael, Raphael, Gabriel, and Oriel, came down and imprisoned these fallen angels at the four corners of the earth, where they became known as the Watchers. Jewish, Christian, and Islamic theologies retained the traditional loyal angels of heaven, especially those four great beings who rule the quarters of the universe, Raphael, Mikael, Gabriel, and Oriel. But they had no place for the gods and goddesses of the ancient pagan religions they had conquered. And so the rabbis, the priests, and the imams practiced a sleight of hand trick and reclassified the homeless but not forgotten pagan deities as those same fallen angels who were already chained in deep pits at the ends of the earth. Thus, their greatest rival, the Canaanite thunder god, Prince Baal, became the demon Baal, first among the ranks of the fallen, who was said to appear as a cat, a toad, or a man, or all three at once, and to grant the power of invisibility. Prince Baal's beautiful consort, the goddess Astarte, queen of heaven, and mistress of the temple of love, was transformed into the demon Astaroth, described as a hurtful angel with bad breath, but who, when summoned, would reveal the true history of the fallen angel. And she certainly has fulfilled that promise.